People focus more on status than me, myself. They're focused more on the Morant part than Naya. We have two different personalities. We have two different game levels. I mean, we got the same face, but <laughs> that's the only thing they can say about us. That's the same. I'm not a Morant. I am a point guard and I play for Houston High School. John Morant is my older brother. <laughs> When tonight with like two or three, I'm talking about Ja would lay in the floor with and just do any little simple thing. And you know how them babies got that uncontrollable laugh? She would laugh like that anytime he's playing with in the floor. You know, it makes me proud and make me realize that uh, me and Jamie did a good job with both of them. They genuinely love and support each other as siblings. Here. I've been around basketball all my life. I chose to play and then I started to love it. No matter how big she was, she was always out there. She would come out and train with Ja in the backyard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I say my dad enjoys training to both of us the same amount. She's not gonna tell her mom on me if I'm too hard on her. Ja would tell. <laughs> he can yell at me, and I'm not gonna care. He's gonna go in one day and not the other, and I'm gonna keep on going. My dad does not train me differently because I am a female. He's gonna train me and Ja the same in that way. I can't say which one I love training a bit. If I had to choose, it'd probably have to be uh, my baby girl. It was almost easier to coach tonight. Well, her potential was there early. We went to a game to see Ja play in college. I think he had like 31 or something like that after the game. Tonight, I told him, all right, wait till my next game. I'm going to score 40. And she scored 40. I went over and told the coach to take her out. She's a great all-around player. She played both ends of the floor. She can shoot the shot. She can drive to the basket. She can create for teammates. She has a great IQ for the game. And she understands the game well. Being a small guard, you move quicker. I feel like it's an advantage regardless. When someone that's bigger than you comes out to guard you, that's where you have the advantage for sure. I'm most confident in driving the ball because I know I can finish at the rim. She got speed, but like her will, her will to compete is, I, I'll say, the best attribute. It doesn't matter how tall, how small, how big. It's just all about having heart and having that grit and grind. And I'm, I'm sure she's um, very familiar with the grit and grind. And, and, and that's one thing I can say that she brings on the court. No matter what, she's going to perform at a high level and she's going to do great. She definitely got potential to be special. My experience with Coach Ashley, she was one of the first coaches to ever believe in me and give me a chance. I thank her so much for that because honestly, I was losing love for basketball. She is the reason my love for basketball came back. She gave me my confidence. She gave me my chance to love it again. People here in Memphis just kind of have their favorites, their picks. Um, people go off rankings. And to me, like, that really never mattered. She's just being overlooked because nobody ever took the chance to believe in her. I just took that chance. I knew I, she had a lot in her and um, I believed in her, you know? So somebody got to do it. Coaches look at known teams that have like a stacked team, basically with multiple athletes on the same team. They don't look at like just a player in general. Ja was more in the public eye, being in front of a whole lot of division one coaches. And I don't understand why, because uh, the female sport of basketball is just the same as the guy sport. College just should recruit Naya because she's a great player. She's passionate, she loves the game, she's committed and I just feel like she deserves to play on the next level. I'm not really worried about it, if we're being honest. I'm very confident that even if a coach don't come my way, I'm still gonna end up playing basketball regardless. I play it because I actually wanna make it. I got people that believe in me and that back me up on the fact that I can make it. So I'm gonna live by that. She's her own person. 
I know that, you know, her brother have a big name. It can be a lot of pressure behind that as well. I just told her, you know, build your own name. Yes, of course, that's your brother. Of course, you know, you have love for him, like that'll never change. But Ja got his game, Naya got her game. She created her own game. She plays like herself. Like she just has her own way of, of bringing it. And I love it. So I wouldn't trade it for nothing. My family is supporting me the same way they supported Ja. As long as I got them in my corner, believing in me, I believe then I can go. I believe tonight I can go as far as she want. They read that book before when overlooking Ja, and it could be the same effect. I feel like I got that from him, because I mean, even though he was overlooked, he still ended up where he is now. You gotta trust the process, basically. I am so proud of her. And that's, and you tricked me on that one. Cause I probably didn't tell Ja that till he got drafted. <laughs> I don't focus on the fact that I'm his sister. I'm proud of him for sure. But I don't focus on it because I don't want other people to focus on it. And I want people to understand that I'm me. I'm not Ja, no. I'm Naya. Can you erase the I'm proud of her part? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. <laughs>